hello guys thank you so much for getting enrolled yourself for IT asset management training program and I would like to warm welcome to each and every one of you to the corporate software asset training program we are going to learn multiple aspects of IT asset management and we are going to discuss about what is ITAM and what are the major pillar of IT asset management including hardware asset management as well as software asset management so welcome to each and every one of you and wish you very all the best for learning the software asset management training program so without wasting time in this session we are going to discuss about the agenda of this training program and we will see what are the topics we are going to cover throughout the whole training series so without wasting time i would like to allow you guys to have some insights over the topics which we are going to cover up so let's start so this is going to be the outline of our IT asset management training program the first uh, topic which we are going to cover is introduction about the hardware asset management we are going to understand what is ham and the way we have to deliver the hardware asset management services to our client and why ham is important how hardware asset management playing a key role when it comes to managing the software asset management then we will be discussing about the importance of software asset management we will try to understand what is software asset management what is SAM what is software license what is software compliance then how software license compliance working together and how can we are going to handle the audit the next to that we are going to discuss about the how ham and SAM is essential in item industry and what are the essential ham and sam terminologies which we should understand in order to learn the it asset management then the next topic which we will be discussing throughout this training series is why should we focus on it infrastructure so in it infrastructure is the base or the foundation for someone who is trying to learn the IT asset management because without having understanding about IT infrastructure you won't be able to perform the hardware asset management as well as software asset management so we are going to discuss about IT infrastructure in upcoming sessions then next to that we are going to cover the scope and the functions which is getting performed by, by the IT asset management team so what is the roles and responsibility of ham professional and what will be the roles and responsibilities of the sam professional so we are going to discuss in detail about the importance and the uh, scope of the ham and sam professional in upcoming search the next to that we are also going to discuss the software license metrics so what is software license metrics why software license metrics is important how to measure and monitor the software usage and how license metrics is helping us to calculate the consumption or the use of software next to that we are also going to discuss the IT asset management procurement process so it's not just enough to have understanding about the hardware infrastructure and the software infrastructure along with that we should know the way we are getting assets from different vendors or from different publishers so the procurement team is helping us to purchase or buy this asset from different vendor or the publisher so we are going to discuss about the life cycle of asset recruitment or what are the phases getting covered under the purchase process along with that we are going to discuss about the hardware and asset and software asset management life cycle also so asset life cycle is going to be the one of the very important key parameter or i would say it is going to be the heart of this training program because without having understanding about the it asset management life cycle you won't be able to perform the 
effective ham as well as sam services so if you want to deliver better services to your customer you should start understanding the it asset management life cycle which includes sam life cycle as well as ham life cycle then next to that we are going to have discussion around the software license model uh, it would be a perpetual or non-perpetual software license model or the cloud license model so as we all know so in the market we have some softwares those are uh, getting sold out based on the uh, perpetuality so some softwares are perpetual and some of them are non-perpetual so we will be discussing in detail what is perpetual and what is non-perpetual when to go with perpetual and when should we buy the non-perpetual software what are the benefits which we have if we purchase the perpetual softwares and uh, what are the benefits which we have uh, when we go with the non-perpetual or subscription software so we'll discuss uh, these topics in detail in upcoming sessions then next topic which we are going to cover throughout this training is uh, what is the importance of software license and entitlement and deployment data so we should understand the what is software license entitlement and what is software deployment so your software license entitlement is playing a vital role in order to prepare the effective license position and software deployment is another key aspect which we need when it comes to the ELP so in order to prepare the ELP software entitlement data and software deployment data is very important unless and until you have these two data sources in hand you won't be able to perform the ELP or you won't be able to prepare the effective license position which is helping your organization to understand if you are compliant or non-compliant so we are not going to discuss these points here in much detail i'm just trying to give insight what we are expecting in this training program so let's move on and uh, see what else we are going to cover so again we are going to discuss about the evolution of item so how item industry or the item has started the journey and how it got evaluated and what are the additions which we have what are the technologies what are the tools what are the processes and procedures we have enhanced into the it asset management domain so we are going to have insight about the evaluation of item next to that we are going to discuss about the it asset management uh, requirement fulfillment or we will we can simply say the asset request management so whenever any employee joins your organization the first requirement that employee will have the asset it can be laptop or desktop so how that requirement are getting filled out so if user requires laptop or desktop in short hardware asset they have to reach out to the ham team if user require software then they have to reach out to the sam team so how item team is going to fulfill the end users asset request we are going to discuss this part in detail in upcoming series then we are also going to discuss about what is asset discovery and why we are doing the software usage monitoring so why should we monitor the asset usage and how asset discovery agent is helping us to understand what's in use and what's not in use so understanding asset usage is really one of the very important as important aspect which we all should understand and we will be discussing the topic also in detailed manner the next to that we have we have planned to have some discussion about the importance of license entitlement review uh, why it's important to do the software entitlement analysis why should we do the entitlement review and what if we doesn't have the uh, complete information about entitlement how should we complete the entitlement data or the data completeness so we will be discussing that aspect also in coming session then one of the most important topic is what is asset onboarding be it hardware or software whenever your organization buy any asset it needs to be on onboarded so what does it mean by onboarded we will discuss in detail in coming session but now i just wanted to give an heads up about uh, what what we have planned uh, throughout this training program then next to that we have also planned to have a detailed session about the 
asset allocation part what is asset allocation why should we do the allocation what is the importance of asset allocation so i will do my best to uh, give you guys great insight about it asset allocation and their importance and we will be discussing about software license and cost optimization it's one of the very very important topic or the session which we are going to cover because each and every organization is thinking about dollar or they want to save money they don't want to pay unnecessarily to their publisher or the vendor so each and every organization is focusing on cost optimization or reducing the IT cost which companies are spending on their IT infrastructure or over their IT asset be it hardware or software but honestly speaking we have very huge scope to do the software cost optimization uh, as compared to the hardware uh, we will be discussing these aspects how uh, we have mo major scope uh, when it comes to the software and how can we do the more cost optimization or cost saving uh, in software risk management the next to that we will be discussing about software license and contract uh, renewal so whenever you want to buy any software from any publisher or any vendor you will have to sign the contract the so software contract will contain a number of uh, terms and conditions do's and don'ts and rules and regulation and how these uh, rules and regulation or the con uh, terms and condition are important we will be dis discussing in detail uh, we have uh, one um, special session on this part also we will discuss more detail about the contract renewal or the software license renewal and uh, why it's important to do the renewal and what will happen if we skip the renewal and then we will be discussing about some tips and tricks for effective software asset management uh, it's not enough to just have understanding about what you purchase and what you are using along with that we should know what to use and how to use we should know the limits how much we have procured and how we are using it right so it's very important to follow the guidelines those has been said by the publisher which we have agreed as a part of contracts or agreement so there are multiple tips which we are going to share throughout this training uh, training series the next to that we have a detailed discussion around effective license position uh, what is elp what is the basic prerequisites which needs to be followed uh, while preparing the elp so we have to understand about effective license position we have to understand the basic requirement of license entitlement data as well as software deployment data uh, which includes your software installation how to do the entitlement analysis and how can we understand if we are compliant or non-compliant if we have a risk how to remedy the risk so there are multiple uh, tricks which we have to follow in order to do the software license remediation and make our organization compliant and finally we will be discussing about the uh, what is software audit and how to handle the software audit so whatever the things we have learned till now and whatever the activities we are going to perform as a part of sam team these all things are or these all efforts which are we, we are which we are putting in order to be compliant or when it comes to the audit we have to be audit ready so in order to be audit ready we have to perform all of these check marks we have to perform all of these act activities and yes i'm sure that you people will enjoy this training series you people will learn a lot and yes if there is anything which i'm missing you guys can feel free to reach out to me you guys can contact me anytime i will be happy to help you all you guys can share your feedback uh, once you complete the series or maybe while uh, learning the series if you people feel that this series is really helping you to enhance your knowledge and it has added some value to your learning feel free to share your feedback it will give me some power it will give me some energy to come up with more videos or more session and i will help you to enhance your item 
knowledge and i'm sure that you you are going to be the best asset for your organization and this knowledge will help you to enhance or boost your career also and you will get very very high growth in your career also wish you very all the best guys and thank you so much for your time and patience over here and yeah wish you all the best see we in upcoming sessions